have you ever wondered what really happens when a forest is cleared it's not just about losing a few trees it's about losing an entire bursting city except in this case the residents are animals insects and plants when biodiversity drops ecosystem gets weaker that's what happens to nature when we lose species pollinators like bees and butterflies vanish so crops don't get pollinated water filters like wet lands dry up so our rivers get dirtier even the air we breathe gets worse because forest nature's lungs are in there to soak up carbon and it doesn't stop here climate becomes harder to predict without a mix of plants and animals forests can't regulate temperature or rainfall the way they used to that means more floods more droughts more wild weather that hits people hardest but here's the kicker this isn't just about animals and plants it's about us our food our water and even our health depends on a rich diverse natural world so next time you hear about a forest being cleared remember we are not just losing trees we are losing a whole support system that keeps our planet and us healthy protecting biodiversity isn't just good for nature it's essential for our future yes forests are vanishing fast every year millions of trees are cut down and with them countless stories of life disappears but what's driving this crisis let us make straight to the root of this problem agriculture is the biggest culprit As India's population grows, so does the demand for food. Farmers clear forests to make way for crops and livestock, especially in the northeast where slash and burn practices are common. Imagine ancient forests home to elephants and hornbills replaced by fields overnight. But it doesn't stop here. Infrastructure is expanding at the breakneck pace. Highways, railways, dams, fragmenting habitats and pushing wildlife into ever smaller corners. Urbanization it makes worse. Cities are swallowing up green cover to build homes and factories and then there's logging. Some are of legal and some are not. Trees are used for timber, furniture and even fuel. Forest cover shrinks and the scars run deep. Mining is another silent destroyer. Entire hill sides are striped bare. Think about farmers in Maharashtra struggling with droughts. Think about families in Assam facing devastating floods. These are real life impacts of disappearing forests. Can't we just plant more trees? Planting is important. With new forests take decades to match old grown carbon storage. Once mature forest is gone, it's long last generations. Devastating. Tigers, leopards, elephants, many of India's most iconic creatures are losing their homes when forests are chopped into isolated patches. Animals can't roam, hunt or breed as they used to. Some are forced into villages leading to conflicts, others simply vanish. And when keystone species disappear, the entire ecosystem unravels. India's forests are more than just trees. They are the lungs of our nation, home of our wildlife and heart of countless communities. But the growing cities and industries deforestation has been a huge challenge. The Forest Conservation Act of 1980 isn't just a law on paper. It's a shield that regulates how forest land can be used. And there's the Forest Right Act of 2006, which is a game changer. It recognizes the right to forest dwelling communities, making them key players in conservation. Now you might have heard about the Green India Mission. It isn't just about planting trees. It's about restoring the entire ecosystem. India's network of national park and wildlife sanctuaries is expanding, protecting habitats for endangered species like tigers, elephants and rhinos. And with wildlife corridors, we are reconnecting fragmented forests, giving animals the freedom to roam and thrive. It's not just saving one species, it's about protecting the entire web of life. Sustainable land use practices are also making difference by promoting agroforestry and eco-friendly farming. We are reducing pressure on forest and giving people new ways to earn a living. It's a win-win for nature and communities and here's what inspires me the most. The role of local and indigenous communities when they are involved in forest management, conservation isn't just a policy, it becomes a way of life. The traditional knowledge and deep connection to the land are irreplaceable. India's journey to protect the forest and wildlife strategies are proof that positive changes is possible. 
So let's celebrate these successes and keep working together to protect the wild heart of India. So what can I do? Start by being aware. Support organization and policies that protect India's forest. Reduce your carbon footprints. Use public transport. Conserve energy. Spread the word. Every small action counts. This fight is about saving our future. Next time you breathe forest air, remember it's not just oxygen, it's a chance at a cooler, safer planet.